Taxpayers Alliance. Good to speak to you, Alex. I suppose a lot of people would look at this as a good news story that British people willing to put their hands in their pockets for better services. Well, evening. Uh, afternoon. I mean, maybe they are. Uh, I mean, maybe they aren't. Uh, it's perfectly possible for people to pay more tax. It's also perfectly possible for people to give money to particular NHS hospitals. A lot of hospitals have these sort of charitable trusts um, attached to them, and they're, they're sort of free to do so. But what I would, uh, you know, I, I think that realistically, um, a penny on uh, a penny on income tax or, or national insurance is certainly not going to solve the problems with the NHS. It's a system that was largely designed in, in the 1940s to deal with sort of acute, acute sickness, not to deal with the kind of chronic problems which affect ageing populations. And those are increasingly the issues that the NHS is going to have to do with, deal with over the next, you know, for the, for the foreseeable future. And it's simply just not set up to do this. And we have to be very careful about the way this is funded. I mean, if we have a very strong link between specific taxes and specific services, it's potentially quite, quite a dangerous game. I mean, let's say we never know exactly how much a particular tax is, is going to raise. I mean, let's say that income tax was increased by 1%. I mean, HMRC estimates that would bring in about £4 billion a year. But what if it brings in less than that? Is the NHS going to be topped up with, tax, with various other taxes? And what if it brings in more? Is that money going to go into the NHS, even if it could be better spent elsewhere on, on things like schools? So actually, having sort of specific taxes to fund specific services is really not a very good way of doing things. It really should go into the same pot, and then it's up to politicians to understand it. But this poll would suggest that people are willing to contribute more if they know it's going to be ring-fenced and in the context of the government asking for £22 billion of savings by 2020, this poll seems to indicate the public realise the government at the moment aren't willing to fund it as much as they can, so they're going to step in and do it. So, so the idea of ring-fencing a tax does appeal. Well, it may appeal, but it's, but it's not a very good idea. I mean, let's not forget, we do have some taxes which are theoretically what you call hypothecated for certain purposes. I mean, for instance, national insurance. Now, when that started out, it was a sort of separate fund that was set aside to pay for specific benefits, such as uh, the state pension and, indeed, part of it for the NHS. But in reality, over the years, the link between that, that tax, national insurance, and what it pays for has just gradually been eroded, and effectively it just operates as any other tax. I mean, it all goes into the same pot, and it's all, it's all just uh, distributed sort of at the will of, of, of politicians anyway. So, and as I said... Um, you know, you can pay more tax if you want to. You can uh, donate money to specific NHS trusts through various uh, charities. And if people are willing to do that, then, you know, I, I sort of encourage them to do so because there are plenty of people um, who feel that they can't afford that. Um, you know, the, ta the NHS Confederation saying that it is not the job of the NHS to tell the government what to do and how much to set it. Do you think this, the public getting involved in this kind of way, even though it's just a poll, is broadly a good thing, particularly ahead of a budget? Well, it's important that, that politicians know what, what the public wants, but it's also important that politicians don't just give the public absolutely everything that they want. I mean, if you had all sort of, a sort of pure democracy with all tax and spend uh, dictated by An opinion poll. I think you'd end up in, in quite in quite a mess. You'd probably end up with pretty much no spending on any welfare whatsoever, uh, masses of spending on, on defence, and all kinds of sort of strange things like that, which might be sort of appealing to, to the public. But politicians do have a responsibility um, not to just do absolutely everything and respond to every opinion poll and just throw money uh, here here and there as uh, as the public sort of indicate uh, that they might want to. 